All right, Chad, what's higher? Or who's higher? Maybe it's what higher, who higher? <laughs> Snoop Dogg or our interest rates? I'm going to say both. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on what day it is, I think you're right. Oh man, I can't believe we answered that that fast. That was good right there. So yes, I think that the interest rates are just as about as high as Snoop Dogg is at yeah. any given day. Speaking of things that are kind of high or kind of interesting every day, what's going on in your world, brother? Pending sales. Uh huh. Overall, compared to two years ago, do you think they were higher, about the same, or lower two years ago? Mm -hmm. Two years ago? Yeah, 2022. Oh, well, the market was really good in it 2022. Yeah. So I'm going to say that, I'm going to just guess, but I think 2022, the pending sales were higher. Higher. Okay. You're wrong. Dang it. What, really? <laughs> yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Not so I, I was wrong too, if I had a guess, <laughs> I've been wrong. But, so they're, so currently we're at 153 pending sales. Okay. Two years ago, we were at 127. Really? I, mean, I, I assume that's because of the low inventory we have, which mm -hmm. is much lower than we have now. Okay. I mean, if we had a ton of inventory, like we do now, not a ton, but mm -hmm. more inventory. Could have been higher, but. Oh, I can see that now. Hey, by the way, Josh Kalinowski and Chad Loomis with the weekly update. We're already giving you information. We need to introduce ourselves here. We're actually having so much fun. Dude, I did not see that coming right there. So we had more, we have more pending homes right now in this market yep. than we did two years ago. Yep. Dude, that is good. This is why we keep statistics, man. All right, so what's else going on in the market? Yeah, so this last week, awesome week. We're up 16, uh, 153 overall. The 115 to do 15 was the big winner this week of uh, an increase of seven. We're up to 28 there in that sector. The 215 to 315 range had a decrease of one. Uh, we're down to 40. The 315 to five had an increase of one. We're up to 36 there. And the 500 plus range, there's no change. We're at 16 overall pending sales. Uh, another interesting statistic is uh, active listings. Uh, we actually dropped 11. We're down to 84 in the city of Casper here. Really? Single family homes. And see, this is really why I love the fact that we do local like statistics and the national statistics, because I'm going to show, like, I'm gonna show like, the, the, the national statistics are a little bit different than what they we're are. experiencing yeah. here locally. Not completely different, but they are a little bit different. You know, right now, interest rates are, they're creeping up again. And we, we've been talking about this for the last couple of weeks is that they are gonna to continue to do this, right? They're gonna fluctuate. They're not gonna really, we're not gonna see signs of it really going down much, not until possibly like June of this year. So we still got a couple of months. And so, you know, what that means to you as a buyer, it's like, hey, you can continue to keep waiting. But here's the thing is that the market keeps raising. The, key, the market continues to elevate. The medium sales price of a home right now continues to, to get higher. Yeah. You know, so if interest rates drop, guess what? That just means that the floodgates of all the other buyers that are sitting on the sideline are going to come to the market. And now you're going to be probably having to bid with multiple bids and multiple buyers. Yeah. Exactly. So we've got active homes on the market right now. We've got about 498,000 on the market. Now that's up from last week and kind of comparatively a little bit down from what you would ex we'd experience here in our local market. Uh, we've also got sales actually down a little bit. We've got about 58,000 pending sales compared to last week, which we were at about 60,000 pending sales. And so what you're seeing is that with that interest rate fluctuating up, buyers are kind of hesitating a little bit. But here's the beautiful thing about this type of a market is that if you are an active buyer right now, if you feel like you can afford a home with these interest rates, first of all, it's only going to get better for you when you refinance. Right. Secondly, there's not a lot of competition and there's more inventory to choose from. And we've been begging for inventory <laughs> for the last couple of years, haven't we? Oh yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know, once again, I love the fact that we had like uh, local market statistics that conflict a little bit of what the national market is doing. So really good as a seller, really good as a buyer to know what's going on so that you can make the best decision for you and your family. Chad? Well, what else do you think? Well, that's all I have. I'm yeah. Gonna... All right, so you got the first one right. Uh, depending on the day, we don't know if Snoop's gonna be higher than the interest rates. Uh, we did get the second one wrong, so we, we, there are more pending homes now which is a great thing. This means that there's obviously buyers out there that still feel like this is a great market to purchase homes in. And of course there's inventory that sellers obviously want to sell a home. They want to upgrade, they want to move, they want to actually get into a new property. So there is inventory that's out there for people to choose from. A little bit. Yeah. So those are all good signs, man. And you had great statistics, right? This for us this year too. So, all right. all right guys, we will see you next week and we appreciate you guys tuning in. Have a good one. All right.